Hello, Redemption family. I wanted to share a short story about the Spirit leading me. A few months ago, it was going to be my father's birthday, and I just felt this strong urging to go home. And we've been here in Spain for four and a half, five years, and I've never felt like this before. And so I, I just prayed, I'm like, Lord, if this is you calling me to go home for a visit, just let me know. Tell me in your word, let it just be clear. And so I think I had prayed that earlier that morning. Well, in the afternoon, my father had sent this text message. Now mind you, I hadn't told anyone, not even a step on nobody about how I had felt. But my father sent me this text message and all it said was, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I was just blown away, like what in the world? So I sent him back a message, amen. And so I thought, okay, Lord, if this is you, then whenever I share with this what 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 I'm kind of dealing with, that, then he'll just be totally okay with me leaving the kids, me getting up and going. If this is you, he's going to be okay. So I shared with this Devon, and he was like, oh yeah, that's fine. He was telling me I should stay longer than the five days I was going to, and I thought, okay. So I called my mom, and I was telling her about what I wanted to do, that I wanted to surprise my dad, and I'm like, will you buy me a ticket, mom? And she said, oh, of course. So I think it was less than two weeks away. I went home, I surprised my dad, it was really sweet. Now my grandma was 92 years old and she, her health was declining, she was stuck at home. And so I got to spend like three out of the five days with her. I got to spend one of the nights with her and we just got to pray together. I got to read the word over her, just sit with her and encourage her and hold hands with her. It was like some of the sweetest times I ever had with my granny. Well, the day came that I was supposed to leave on Friday and I was driving in a rental car to go home or to go to the airport. It was about three hours away. And I stopped at this gas station because I didn't have much data on my phone. So I was like following directions that were written out. I'm horrible about directions. And I wasn't close to the airport, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stop here in this town, get some gas, and then I'll, I'll be on my way. So I stopped and I went into the gas station and my brother called me. And he's like, Tiffany, they found Granny unresponsive this morning. So if you want to come back, if you want to go ahead and get on the plane, I just want to let you know that she will probably be passing away soon. And of course, I was sad. Of course, I just began crying. But more than anything, like my spirit was rejoicing and praising the Lord because God had given me this gift with my grandma right before she died. And it was his spirit that led me, that urged me to come home. And it was, it's so cool because as a missionary, you kind of feel like you miss out on things or you think your kids miss out on things or I don't know, but God just showed me, look, I am taking care of you. And that he gave me such a precious gift and that his Holy Spirit led me there. That even the Holy Spirit led me to this gas station at just this weird time for me to not be in the car driving in the rain whenever I received the news. And I just, God is so good. And he is leading us step by step in the details. He is involved and it's, it's sweet and comforting to know that. So the Lord bless you all, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye.